For I call this faithful by whom you were calling to the fellowship of the Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Hello, my dear listeners. What a wonderful day. This is your program, Jitayo's World. It's another refreshing time to enjoy more of Oluwakande's music. The program is sponsored by Jitayo's Music Production, North Carolina, USA. I am Dili Ogotola, your anchor man. So sit back to enjoy today's program, segment by segment. God is a faithful God. He is a faithful God. God is a faithful God. The first segment of the program, This Is My Story. Hmm. This is my story. As you know, my name is Mrs. Fanny Jane Crossbay Van Astein. Let me continue, my dear listeners, once again, from... We will stop. Hope you don't forget that I am blind. I'm happy to come your way again today. Last week, I said I enjoyed all my studies except one. Hmm. I don't like arithmetic. I don't like arithmetic. I even wrote a little poem to express how I felt about that subject. I loathe. It makes me sick to hear the word arithmetic. Along with my schoolwork, I continued to write poetry. My first book of verse, entitled A Blind Girl, was published when I was 20 years old. And I'm still a student. I made an excellent record at school. So after completing my studies, they asked me to remain there as a teacher. I taught English grammar for the next 11 years in that school. I also continued to write poetry. Two more books of my poems were published while I was teaching at the school for the blind. Like all young people, I was interested in the popular shows and dance music of that time. One of the other teachers at the school was George F. Root, a successful composer of popular music for the minstrel shows, which were variety shows with professional singers, dancers, and comedians. Before the invention of the radio and the cinema, minstrel shows traveled to all important towns and cities in America to entertain people. Mr. Root asked me to write words for his tunes. I wrote words for love songs and for popular songs. One of the other teachers at the school was Alexander Van Asten, who was also blind. He taught music, both of us being blind. We understood each other, loved and appreciated the companionship we had, and we decided to marry. I was 38 years old at the time of my marriage. We lived together happily for 44 years before my husband died. We had one daughter. The saddest event of my life was the day when our daughter died in infancy. A pastor of a Dutch reformed church near our school knew of my reputation as a poet. He asked me to write a poem which he could read for his New Year watch night service. That pastor introduced me to William Bradbury, who was a Baptist, a famous composer and a music producer. Mr. Bradbury said to me, Fanny, I thank God that we met at last, for I think you can write hymns and I have wished for a long time to talk with you. I was attending a Methodist church in New York City I had gone to church all my life. I had written poems almost all my life, but no one had ever suggested previously that my poetry could be a service offered to God. Mr. Bradbury published books of secular songs and hymn books. He himself composed in tunes and he was always searching for poets who could write words for which he could write tunes. He asked me to write a poem for him. I did so and he wrote a tune to fit the words. The hymn was published in one of his hymn books in 1864. This first hymn was written when I was 44 years old. Mr. Bradbury liked the song and asked me to write more hymn text for which he would write the tunes. My desire to write minstrel songs disappeared and I dedicated myself to working for God. I later write more hymn text for him and other composers. Some of my hymns are, I am thine, O Lord. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. 
Rescue the Perishing, and lots more. I remember clearly the day when I wrote Blessed Assurance. One of my close friends was Mrs. Joseph Knapp, the wife of the Metropolitan Insurance Company, the largest insurance company in America. She was an amateur musician. One day, she came to visit, sat down at my piano, and played over several times a tune she had composed. She asked me, what does the tune say? I immediately answered, Blessed Assurance Jesus is mine Oh, what a foretaste Of glory divine Heir of salvation Porches of God Born of His Spirit Washed in His blood Oh, my, my Time, time, time ah, Let me stop here for today This is my story Hmm, Vanny Jane Crosby, an American mission worker, poet, lyricist, and a composer. She was one of the most prolific hymnists in history, written more than 8,000 hymns and gospel songs, with more than 100 million copies printed, despite being blind. Born 24th March 1820, died 12th February 1915. From a Yoruba saying, Eni ni ta this is my story. Ah, now to the next segment of the program, Jetayos Music. The music for today, Aye Ye. We love you, Jesus.
Download Jitayos Music on iTunes and other digital platforms. Follow Olu Akade on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Olu Akade. Go and subscribe. Oh. Go and subscribe on Olu Akade's channel. There are gifts on the way for our listeners. This week, a question will pop up on YouTube and Instagram at Olu Akade. The subscriber that answered the questions correctly will win a fantastic prize this week. Don't be left out. Oh. <laughs> Don't be left out. You will surely share the testimony. Now let us listen to the word for the week from the CEO, Jitayos Music Production, USA. Good day, my brother and sister. I'm Olua Kande, the founder of Jitayos Music, and welcome to today's program. Today, we're going to talk about there shall be revival in all area. There shall be revival in all area. And I pray for you today that there shall be revival in every area of your life in Jesus' name. Cry to God for a refreshed baptism of fire. If you have become lukewarm. And I pray there shall be a refreshed baptism of fire in every area of your life in Jesus' name. On the other hand, if your fire is completely out, if you have gone back to the filthy, of the past and are now doing those things which are completely against the word of God. Know that though you have drifted far, God has not rejected you. The fact that you are still alive today, it means he is still interested in having you back. In Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 1 to 10. It makes it clear that dry bones can rise again. In John chapter 21, verse 15 to 19, Peter means it by going back to being a fisherman. But Jesus came to meet him and restore his destiny. Peter's repentance was genuine. He wept bitterly and was restored. You too can be restored if you cry genuinely from your heart to God today. It doesn't matter what is going on in your life. In every view of your life, our God is a master restorer. May your fire always burn bright and never go out in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Father, please help my fire to burn bright. Always and never go down. In the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be revival in every area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep sowing higher. Don't give up. Amen. And that's all for today on the program, Jitayos World. Join us next week for another episode of the program. Don't forget to subscribe at Olu Akande. You can call me on plus 234-8062-806430. I am Dele Ogotola, your anchorman. Till next week, God bless you.